So you took the VIA survey of character strengths. When did you take it? How long ago? Um, I took it two days ago. Okay. Yeah. So recently. Um, what stood out for you as you took it? Um, I guess I was just curious as to like what the different strengths were. Like I was asking a lot of questions about like group work and like and creativity. Those were the ones that stood stood out most to me. But okay. So um, just kind of like how do I answer that or what does that yeah. actually mean or what are they trying yeah. to determine from that group or questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are they trying to determine, I guess? I, I, I took it too, just a couple mm. days ago again, and I, I found the same thing with that. I was like, all right, what are you getting at? <laughs> yeah. So you've got your results and you've got your top five, but it looks like you printed out. I printed out all of them. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. We're going to just look at your top five. So. What stands out for you in terms of your results? Um, I thought I thought they were really accurate, honestly. Um, especially looking through the other ones. Um, yeah, these these top five seem to seem to really fit me the most. Okay. Yeah. In terms of like, if you when you look at your top five, would you rank them differently um, than what the the test gave you? Or I thought about that and. Um, I mean, maybe maybe a few would be switched around, but I don't. I think it was pretty pretty close between all of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe if you can go through each one just briefly and and tell me how you see that being applied in your life, or how you've actually used it, or does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of briefly on. Yeah. Um, well, my top one was honesty authenticity and um, genuineness mm -hmm. saying that I'm like a real person and um, down to earth um, and I a lot of the questions were like would your friend like do your friends always tell you this and it like I do get told that often that I'm really down to earth um, okay. and you know I I guess I just don't go over the top with anything and I'm like pretty accepting of most things so okay yeah. So you actually you get reinforcement. I mean, friends notice this about it and say it. So yeah. you're a fairly humble kind of person and you don't, I guess, brag a lot or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would think so. Okay. Um, and my second one is gratitude, being aware of the good things that happen to you and never taking them for granted. Um, people know that I'm a grateful person. And yeah, I, yeah. Um, I always go out of my way to like tell other people whenever I'm thankful for whatever they do, no matter how small it is. Um, I feel like I'm like super, yeah, I'm super grateful to be where I am today. Like things could have gone so much differently, but I'm, yeah, glad for where I am now. Okay, so that seems to kind of come naturally. That's it's not something you work on, or yeah, um, you just kind of recognize the stuff that you're grateful for. Yeah. And, and it sounds like maybe from some past stuff, it's made you even more, it's really kind of built that strength of gratitude. Like, hey, look at what I've done. Yeah, yeah. I really think so. Okay. Um, and the third one, kindness and generosity. Um, never too busy to do a favor, and I enjoy doing good deeds for others, even if I don't know them well. Um, yeah, that's... That's obviously my third one yeah, but um yeah, yeah I, I really do enjoy doing things for others and it, I again it's, I feel like it's something that comes natural so okay so it feels good to do that yeah. and it's not something you have to like put on your reminder pad or yeah. things to do list or yeah okay. um, and, and yeah we can get to that but like does this feel like something that's kind of been this way since you were a kid or is it something you've developed into um, I think it's been something that I've, a trait I've always had. Okay. Yeah. And you've mentioned being the middle child of five. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, yeah. I, and, and you know, everybody's unique and it really, your placement within and all that kind of stuff. But there is kind of a saying, kind of that middle child mediator, you know, is always kind of trying to mediate yeah. and, and keep things kind of cool and calm. But yeah. I don't know if some of that applies or. Oh, definitely. I was always trying to please everyone, like keep everyone happy. Um, yeah, definitely okay. fits into that role as a middle child. Okay. Um, my fourth one was hope, optimism, and future-mindedness. Expecting the best in the future and work to achieve it. Um, 
I feel like that that kind of for me goes along with gratitude you know like like I see what I've overcome in the past and like I, I believe like I can keep overcoming um, you know whatever comes my way and that like the future is in my control okay. and I believe yeah I believe that for everyone so okay so that really does tie with the gratitude and I guess all yeah. of this but the gratitude in particular you kind of you kind of recognize what's going well where you've come where you are now and then um, in a real hopeful and optimistic yeah okay yeah. And um, so number five humor and playfulness I like to laugh and tease bring smiles to other people is important to me um, see the light in all situations um, yeah <laughs> how do you like how do you do that when was like the last time you think you've used humor or playfulness or whatever? Um, I usually do it like in my own situations. I don't, like if other people are in bad moods, I don't always apply it then because I don't know if that's what they want. But with my own situations, you know, like if I'm going through something bad, it's again ties in with the optimism, future mindedness. Like I just right away try to see it like as I would in five years, you know, like, okay, I'm going to laugh about this later, but I should also laugh about it now. Like, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So you are able to, even even in the midst of the whatever it might be, the junk, you're able to kind of see like, oh my gosh, I can, let's not take this too seriously. And yeah. And I think that's something like I had to try. So that's something you had to work on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but yeah. I, I feel like it comes pretty naturally to me now, so. So that will be really interesting then, um, you know, to discuss perhaps later is how you actually developed that habit, um, yeah. which is almost, when you think of strength, is is maybe almost more virtuous than the stuff that just seemed to kind of come natural, uh, that you were actually able to develop that habit and it ranks really high for you. Yeah. Um, and it seems so important to be able to take perspective like that and be able to see the humor even in the bad situations. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think of it like that. Yeah. So, so tell me this then, um, what might be a, with any one of these, what might be a unique way you could use one of these like within the next week? A unique way to use one of these? I know that's kind of a loaded question and you've got a lot to look at, but <laughs> what might something you do? Um, that would well, with all of these, like in, even like I looked past my top five and I just um, was more interested in what I could work on more, what I could get better at, I guess. And um, like I, I really am an honest and genuine person, but I think more in a laid back way, like I'm, you know, accepting and like just laid back in general. But um, I would really like to like play that out more and like, you know, bring it forward more, like be more honest. Um, like whenever I'm unhappy with something. Oh, or, okay. Um, so yeah, I guess. What might I, what might that look like? Um. So, yeah, like my my family is not really great at communicating, like telling each other when something's wrong or when there's a problem. So I. Sounds like a normal family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but it's something that bothers me, and I I don't know. I feel like I should um, be more honest and speak the truth about how I feel sometimes like okay that. so, so like that. you feel like you kind of hold back sometimes and you don't yeah. express it and that maybe that's not for the benefit yeah. of you and everybody else yeah so like I'm not I'm not being genuine with them in that way I guess I got you. I got you. Yeah. so that might be something that if it comes up within the next week there might be a way that maybe in just a small way that you could Put yourself out there a little bit more and you've yeah. seen like the kind that's not going to do that in a way that would be abrasive however when people yeah. hear feedback you know a lot of times even if it's done well meaningly yeah we're but, like uh, yeah but. or if like somebody does tell me something in my family like some new you know a story or something i could just like tell them how much i appreciate i guess it would be gratitude like telling them i appreciate them like being like telling me about it and stuff like that and so when we're looking at using that in a unique way, would that be something, well, we, we know that kind of putting yourself out there, but with the gratitude, that would be something new too, is just being able to say, hey, I really appreciate that, or? Um, I guess in the way that. With family. Yeah, yeah, with family, okay. I guess. Maybe it's a little easier with friends and colleagues and so. Yeah.